Are you facing the WordPress not sending emails issue? Or maybe your basic WordPress emails are going to the spam box. The good news is you can solve these problems easily. In this video, we'll show you two ways to fix the WordPress email issue. You can choose whichever method you want. So let's start. In our video, we are going to use two popular SMTP services to enable your WordPress to send emails. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So the first SMTP that we are going to look at is the Gmail SMTP. To do that, we need to install a plugin first. As you can see, we've logged into our WordPress dashboard. So we are going to use Post SMTP. We are going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on Add New. And from here, we're going to search for Post SMTP. This plugin is going to help us connect our WordPress site with the Gmail SMTP. So we're going to click on the Install button. Okay, after it's installed, we're going to click on the Activate button. And then you're going to see this screen. Here it says, Receive our plugins alert in case of critical security and feature updates and allow non-sensitive diagnostic data tracking. So if you want to allow this, you can click on this button, but we're going to skip it. And then you're going to see this setup wizard screen. From here, first we have to choose our SMTP mailer. So there are a lot of these services. We are going to choose Gmail API. And then we're going to click on continue. Next, we are going to see this screen. Here we can set our from email and from name. This basically indicates where the email is coming from and from whom the email is coming from. So we are going to set this later on. First, the thing that we need to focus on is the Gmail API. Over here, you can see there's the client ID, client secret. These two fields are empty. And there's the authorized JavaScript origins and the authorized redirect URI. So these two links we have, and we need to get the client ID and client secret from our Gmail SMTP API. So to create a Google app, we need to go to Google Developer Console. So this is the page. If you guys cannot find this page, we are going to put it in this video's description. So when you're over here, first we need to create a project. So over here in the dropdown, we're going to click over here. Now we are going to click on this new project. And we're going to give our project a name. We're going to call it WP Mail. Then you can select your organization from here but we're going to leave it for now and click on this create button and it's creating our project. All right, the project has been created. Now we're going to click on this select project button. All right, so this is the project dashboard. From here, we are simply going to click on API and services and you're going to come to this page and then we can click on this enable APIs and services. And from here, we're going to choose our gmail api so it's over here if you cannot find it you can simply search for it over here so we're going to click on this gmail api and we're going to click on this enable button and now the gmail api has been enabled now we need to create the credentials so i'm going to click on this button over here and now we are going to set up our gmail api credentials so first from this uh, drop down we have to select the gmail api and from this section we are going to choose the user data we will be accessing user data now let's click on next now we have to add in our app information first we have to add our app name we're going to call it wp email and we are going to add a user support email okay then you can also add in a logo if you want but this is optional and we're also going to add another developer contact email. Okay, so you have to at least insert one email. You can add multiple emails. Now let's click on the save and continue button. And then there's the optional step where you can add your scopes. So we do not need any scopes. Let's scroll down and click on save and continue. And now the OAuth client ID. We are going to choose a web application from here. And this will generate these fields. So here we can name our app. Okay, I'm going to call it mail SMTP and then we're going to scroll down and here we can see two sections authorized JavaScript origins and authorized redirect URIs. So we need to generate these fields. So let's click over here and we have a field and over here we're going to click over here. We have a field. So we need to get these two information from our post SMTP. So let's get back to our site and over here we're going to copy this authorized JavaScript origin and paste it over here. Now let's get the redirect URI. Okay, we have copied this. Now let's paste it. 
Great. Now we're going to click on this create button. And our app credentials has been created. We also have a client ID over here. We can download the information or we can copy this. But the best thing that we should do is click on this credentials page over here. It's going to lead us to this section. And from here, you can see the mail SMTP is over here. We are going to click on download OAuth client over here in actions. And here we can see the client ID and client secret. So we're going to copy both of these and paste it over in our mail SMTP field. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I have copied and pasted the client ID and client secret. Now we are going to uh, click on the connect to Gmail API. But before we do that, there's one more step that we need to take care of. Now, before you connect your WordPress site with your Gmail API, you might want to publish your app. Otherwise, you might face an error where it says your app is not validated. So in that case, what you need to do is go to OAuth consent screen over here. And in the testing section, there is a button that says publish app. We're going to click on it. And what we need to do is submit for verification. Here you can see there's a link submit for verification. If we click over here, our app will be submitted and we will have to wait for verification. Now, this is a standard step which you should take. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to click on confirm. We are not going to submit because it might take some time. We're going to click on this confirm button. OK, so now it's in production. Now let's get back to our WordPress site. OK, now let's click on the connect to Gmail API. And we're going to choose our Gmail account that we used to create the Gmail API. And you can see it already says Google hasn't verified this app. OK, so in this case, we're going to click on advanced and we are going to click over here. Of course, this says it's not verified because we haven't submitted our app for verification. But of course, when you're doing it, make sure that you submit for verification and wait for your app to be verified. OK. So I'm going to proceed to my website and I'm going to say continue because I trust it. And you can see over here that the OAuth 2.0 authorization was successful, ready to send email. That means it's connected. So we are still going to continue with the setup process. We are going to click on the save and continue button and it's telling us to add the from email and from name. So let's go ahead and add these. Okay, so we have added the address. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on the save and continue button. All right, so the final step is sending a test mail and see if everything is working. Now I'm going to add in my recipient email address where I want to receive this email. Okay, so I have added the email. Now I'm going to click on send test email button over here. Okay, it says your message was delivered and here's the time it took to the SMTP server. Congratulations. Now let's go ahead and open our email and check if we have received any email or not. And indeed we did. We received the email from Postman SMTP test. So our WordPress is now sending emails perfectly. Okay, now let's click on the finish button and our setup wizard is complete. Okay, now our WordPress can send email. So if we go to the email logs, it's already over here. You can see how many emails were sent, where the email was sent to, the delivery time, the status, everything is over here. So using the Gmail SMTP, you can send 500 emails per day for free. If you have a higher requirement, you can upgrade to a paid plan. So this is one way of solving the WordPress email issue. We're going to take a look at an alternative method which you can also use to solve this problem. You can choose any one of these two methods. Before starting to work on the second email method, we have to deactivate our post SMTP plugin first. So let's go ahead and do it. And over here, we're going to deactivate it. We'll just skip and deactivate. Great. Now that post SMTP plugin has been deactivated, we can start working on the alternative WordPress email sending method. We are going to use another plugin called Brevo. So let's hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new. And let's search for Brevo. And it's over here. It says newsletter, SMTP, email, marketing and subscribe forms by Brevo. Formerly send in blue and it's by Brevo. OK, so let's click on the install now button to install this plugin. OK, it's installed. Now let's click on activate. Then from your WordPress dashboard, open the Brevo home menu. So in order to use Brevo, we have to actually create an account. You can click over here, create an account. 
and it's going to lead you to this page here you can provide your email address your password and then you can click on create an account to create your free brevo account but i already have a brevo account so i'm going to click on login and i'm going to provide my email address and password and log in so here is our brevo dashboard so once you have opened your free brevo account this is where you will land and the first thing that we need to do is click over here and click on smtp and api from here you can see there are two sections smtp and api keys we're going to click on over here and we are going to generate a new api key by clicking over here and we're going to name our api key okay we're going to call it wp email now we're going to click on the generate button and it will give us our api key so we're going to copy it and click on ok now let's get back to our wordpress site and over here we can paste in our api key and click on login now this will connect our wordpress site with brevo and after it's connected you can see that we have our account details over here you can see that we are running a free account and we have 300 credits to activate the emails we simply have to uh, click on this yes radio button and for automation we are going to also activate it and now we can send a test mail to send a test mail first we have to choose a sender we can choose it from here then we have to enter the email address where we want to send the test mail to so let's uh, enter an email address and send the test mail okay so we have added the email address now let's click on send email and the email has been sent so let's check our inbox as you can see we have received our email so that is how you can solve your wordpress not sending email issue so we hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.